Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to this place in Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. This place is here. This is not our final destination. This, this is a detour. A very short detour. Um, because there's something here I want. Also, I want to talk to the people, but no. Mostly, I'm just here to really quickly... Oh, okay, there's nothing there. Well, we will be coming back here later on. But we can't actually do the thing here yet. So... Let's see... When you enter the Sea of Fog, enter the currents from the direction of the Red Rocks. Then your ship won't be destroyed! Nope. Ours is a sad lineage. Three generations of sons have sworn their lives to trying to pass through the Sea of Fog. Aha. Uh -huh. Sailors tell of terrible currents and vortexes that can tear a boat to shreds in the Sea of Time. There it is. No, I don't want to talk to you. It's a lucky medal! Da 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 da! Okay then. The Sea of Time, a massive bank of fog that lies over the sea. All sailors fear it, and rightly so. I don't know if I'll ever make it through, but I'm certain my son will someday. Uh, that's... sweet? Question mark? I just want to know what's on the other side of the fog. One day... Ha no one has ever crossed through it. Well, obviously someone has. I mean, Babidi managed to. So... Or, wait, no. Is it just Babi? Babidi? Whatever. The King of the Colosso? No. Tolby? Anyway. Anyway, that's all we're doing here. Now... I'm gonna... Okay. I've decided where we're going. But before we go there, I decided this is a good opportunity to do a few things on the water. Because, well, because I happen to be in the area, basically. There are... Uh, no. Uh, hmm. Actually... No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, that's the Sea of Time. Oh, there it is. There's a few spots like this in the ocean. If we gaze into it, there's something in the shallows. It's a rusty axe. And, uh, where, where are we? Okay. Wait, what was that? <laughs> okay, then. There's a few places like that, and basically, we're, where you can get items. Now, I don't know if I actually know all of the items. But, I know so but I know where all the weapons are, m more or less. And I'm planning on picking up all of those. And if I, if I miss some things, then oh well. Like, actually no, I'm pretty sure I will miss something. Like, I'm not 100% on this. I'm pretty sure though that there's some lucky medals in the ocean. I don't know where those are, but I'm pretty sure they're there. I do know about these things, though. No, how about... no, um... hmm. Sort of. The fog makes it really hard to see, but there should be a shallow somewhere near here. Hmm. Well, I should s see it if I see it, so I guess I'll just... Is that land? That's land. That's l also land. Uh, that's too close to here. Because there's the one I got, but there should also be one that's really quite close. 
if I can find it. Unfortunately, I don't actually know what on what side of it is. I don't recall, and I haven't been able to find anything that actually told me. I just know that it's, you know, close. Oh, there's the entrance right there. We are not going in there. We are really not going in there. Okay, that's the one where I found the axe before. Wait, no, it was an axe, right? Yeah, that's where I found the axe. So... Okay, I just did a quick double check, and I see what happened there. That one I found was the one I wanted. It seems that I some... Okay, basically here's what happened. I... When I decided I was going to do this, I... I knew that some of them were there, but I didn't know exactly where, and I didn't want to spend, like, an hour just looking for everything. So I went and looked up uh, the locations of them. And it seems in the thing I looked it up in, it lists everything twice. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know why it does that, but I do know that I didn't realize that on my first review. Where, where, where the hell am I? Uh, okay, I need to go further. Actually, I need to go way further up. So, the one I found is the only one I was going to find around there. Uh, you know, I bet there's something here, though. Let's go over there and try it. I mean, it couldn't hurt. At worst, it'll cost me like a minute or two. Definitely worthwhile. Okay, uh, wait. You know, I'm almost there. And... Oh, it's just money. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's something at each of these, and you can generally see them on the map. Uh, so this one I went to before. I just went to this one. Now I'm gonna go to each of these. I don't think that's one. And that will just leave... This one which I will get on the way back down to visit the blacksmith. Because we need to bring these rusty weapons to the blacksmith for him to make them unrusty. Although I think we can equip them without, uh... I think we can equip them. No, wait. Yeah, no, we can totally equip them. They're just bad because they're rusty. When did I pick this up? I must have gotten it from a monster. Well, may as well use it. I mean, I guess I could just use a void on Pierce, but you know, if you give me an item that does that, why would I, I may as well just use it, right? Uh, oh, that is the edge of the world. Careful now. Um, I guess I'll hit that one on my way back as well. You know, now that I've started this, I really did need to look up which ones have weapons in them, because it's really easy to see on the map where the spots are. Uh, and there is the other weapon. I think I can get just the two for now. Although there are more weapons in the ocean. But I'm going to check the other ones, because I'm pretty damn sure at least one or two of these has a lucky medal in it. I mean, maybe it's just money, I'll be a li probably a little bit upset if it's just money, but, you know, oh well. Oh wait, wait, what? There's literally nothing at this one at all. Okay, let's try the next one. Uh, no. No, that's just because I'm really far north. Uh, no, nothing here either. Okay. We'll go around right here next. We can't, as far as I know, we can't actually get in here, even, yet. Although, I don't, oh, maybe I can get in there. Wait. Oh yeah, I totally can. Well, I can't do anything here anyway. So, it's pretty irrelevant. But that is kind of interesting. Just because I didn't realize I could do that. Hmm. Okay, there's... There can't be anything here, can there? Oh, there... No. No, it was just 
It was just fish. Okay, nothing there either. Uh, where is the way down there? Okay. Now, I should be... No? No, it's directly south, just about. Uh, no, absolutely nothing. That's a little underwhelming. Oh, well. Okay, that just leaves the one way down here. So, in the interest of saving a couple minutes, I think I'll just cut there. So, see you then. And we're here. Uh, no, he, uh, there we go. And nothing. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna go to Yellow now, which is maybe the most efficient thing because we were just there, but. I don't really want to carry around two deadweight weapons in my inventory if I can avoid it. And I can avoid it, so... I'll take the short detour now to have better... well... Anyway, to fix up the weapons right away. Uh, having said that, I may as well just cut right there. So, I'll meet you at the town. And we're here again. Again. I guess it serves me right, though, for not bothering to check the weep on things sooner. Hmm. Uh, you could say that. Behold! Make it great, alright. Do it! Do it, do it, do it! Okay, then. I'll be back. Imminently. Out of the de out of the way, dude! Come on. And oh no, I mucked I mucked up. Yep. Okay. We got the Hagbone Mace, which is not cursed. I know. Before I said that all of these were cursed. Obviously, that is not true. Now, there, as far as I remember, there are still a fair amount of cursed weapons you get this way, but not all of them. Obviously. Having said that, let's just... Let's rinse and repeat. And get that last thing. Well, last for now, anyway. We... we will be coming back here, just not in the immediate future <laughs> again. Okay, so let's look at those two we weapons we got. First is the Captain's Axe. I don't like the Captain's Axe. This thing... it's powerful, but it doesn't have an unleash. Uh, actually, it might be worth using on Pierce anyway. That sword is so weak. But, even so, I really don't like it. It has a use ability instead of an unleash. Which is really underwhelming to me. Unleashes are just so essential. I still might give that appears though, I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing is this thing. It does have an unleash. And it is powerful. Really, really powerful. If I gave this to Shiba... She, well, Shiba already almost hits harder than Piers. Um, man, Piers, 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 Piers. Okay, so the question is, do I give the axe to Piers? If I'm not giving it to Piers, then I should give this to him. But if I am giving the axe to Piers, then I should give this to Shiba. I don't like it that it doesn't have an unleash, so I'm going to give this to Piers. And that also allows me to sell two different weapons, which is nice. The one I just made, yeah, that's a terrific use of time, right? Um, but also this crappy sword. Actually, it's not a terrible use of time. It's at least worth a lot. And, I don't know, like, it is powerful, but... 
Unleashes are really just back good. It is almost never worth using a Weepon that does not have an Unleash. That is maybe one of the few times it is, but, well, quite frankly, we'll probably get a n new Weepon soon enough anyway. So it's still worthwhile to just not even bother with it. But, whatever. I still wanted to show it. Um, on that note, hmm, I think I'm gonna stop off here. This will probably be a short episode for you, but, you know, oh well. Um, join me next time when we actually go to a new place for real, and not just the ocean. Until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age with Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!